Boys and girls, this is Dr. D. He's brought something really special to share with us today. Good morning. Good morning. I already have an experiment set up. It's going to show you the difference between high and low frequency sounds. Will we be able to see anything? No, but you'll be able to hear it. This machine is going to produce sounds at different frequencies. I want you to raise your hand when you can't hear the sound anymore. This is going to give you an idea about high and low frequency sounds. Here we go. Oh, so we lost your teacher first. I can't hear it either. When you get older, you can't hear high frequency sounds as well. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, no one can hear it now. I bet your dogs can still hear it. Now we'll need some volunteers. Hmm, I'll take you and you and and you and, and you. I'm going to transmit a low frequency sound to you. PJ is going to put the phone book between the speaker and your ear a couple of times. Let's do it. What happened? The sound wasn't as loud. Now I'm going to transmit a higher frequency sound. What happened this time? It seemed like the sound was blocked off a lot more. Let's try it again. Why don't you two switch places? Okay. <laughs> Now, PJ, did both sounds get softer when Jacob put the phone book between the speaker and your ear? Yes, but the high frequency sounds seem to die off more. Why do you think so? I don't know. Maybe you put the book closer to my ear. The book was the same distance both times. Remember, with the scientific method, we can only change one variable at a time. I changed the frequency, so I'm glad Jacob was careful to keep the book distance the same both times. I think that low frequency sounds travel better than high frequency sounds. Well, low frequency sounds do bend around corners a lot easier than high frequency sounds. That's why the lower frequency sound was a little clearer because it bent around the phone book. This is so cool! This experiment taught us that high frequency sounds don't bend around corners very easily. Don't forget what we learned about the bats. How could we forget? High frequency bat calls don't travel very far. What does all this mean? Let's go back to our treehouse after school and think about it.